the resolution before us today is, be it referred, that Canadian public high schools offer single gender education. Mr. Eric Jung will represent the affirmative side of the debate, and Mr. June Park will, will represent the negative side. On behalf of YSI Academy, I would like to express a sincere welcome to everyone in the audience. My name is Jessica Jung, and I am your moderator. Each speaker will deliver a constructive speech. Each speaker will also get the opportunity to give a rebuttal. After the affirmative speaker's speech, I will immediate, immediately call upon the speaker for the negative side to begin his address. I now call upon Mr. Eric Jung to introduce the affirmative speech. In Canada's public high schools, which are co-educational, boys are trailing girls in academic subjects. The dropout rate for boys are much higher than that of girls, and more girls are choosing to go into university than boys. As CBC writer Robert Small said, that there is clearly a problem here. Good afternoon, Ms. Moderator, honorable judges, my with the opponents, and ladies and gentlemen. Representing the affirmative side in this debate, I support the resolution and will argue that Canadian public high school should offer single gender education. Researchers have found that there are biological and developmental differences between boys and girls that affect that, that how they learn. For example, boy, boys respond better <coughs> to more active teaching style and are hands-on learners, and girls respond to less energetic and more conservative styles. According to the author Michael Some Grimian, people think, for example, Science, computer, and woodwork are for boys, while art and music are for girls. So, some students do not take their favorite courses, and that can have negative effect on their dreams. Research shows that at private or independent single-gender high schools, students freely select the courses that are sometimes the opposite of their gender stereotypes. Examples are St. George's School for Boys, at Little Flower Academy for girls in British Columbia. For years, students at these private schools have ripped the many benefits of single gender education. It is time for public high schools to make this choice available to students across Canada. Before closing, Ms. Moderator, I would like to repeat my argument. First, I described the huge problem of failing boys in Canada's public high school system and pointed out that one of the reasons for this crisis is that public high, public co-ed high schools largely ignore the fact that boys and girls learn I, differently. I gave two examples of highly successful single gender private high schools. I strongly believe that Canadian public high school should offer single gender education. This resolution must therefore stand. Thank you. Dr. Ms. Moderator, Honorable Judges, my worthy opponent, and ladies and gentlemen. Representing the negative side in this debate, I oppose the resolution and will argue that Canadian public high school should not offer single gender education. I will present three strong points to prove my case, but first, I will do my rebuttal. My opponent, Mr. Jung, said Canadian public high schools should offer single gender education because public co ed high schools are failing boys. Now, Ms. Moderator, I will continue my constructive speech. First of all, single gender classes and schools are not good for students. According to Kim Gandhi, who is the president of the National Organization for Women in the United States, Single gender classes reinforce gender stereotypes, like the idea that boys are assertive and outspoken, while the girls are timid and quiet. Male students need to have more male models. At present, some Canadian students only have female teachers. As John Bradley, an associate professor of Mogill University, the study suggested that quite high schools better prepare girls and boys for university and for jobs 
by providing ongoing opportunities for them to work together. Before closing Ms. Mojader, I would like to reiterate my arguments. First, I said that single gender classes and schools are not good for students as they separate the boys and girls and do not prepare them for the real world with which they will have to work together. So, I believe that Canadian public high schools should not offer single gender education. This resolution must therefore fall. Thank you. I'll now do my rebuttal. First, my opponent, Mr. Park, said boys and girls are better to be together because they will teach them how to respect each other. But I think boys and girls are tend to be more respectful to each other if they don't see each other frequently. Second, my opponent, Mr. Park, also said in co-educational school, students are better than single gender education. But I say no. As I said in my debate speech, many of the top schools in Canada is single gender education. Lastly, my opponent said that students are better at study and have more friends in co-educational school. But as everyone here knows or should know, schools are not a place to play. The debate is now ended. Thank you, judges, debaters, and audience for your participation.